Hello, welcome back to Strictly Speaking. I'm Janet Snake or Macklin. And I am Poppy Snake or Macklin. Week four. Week four, what did you think? Um, I mean, it wasn't my favourite week, but it was still good. Oh, I I really I mean it was I guess it was very good, but there were they weren't as good as they were last week, I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Something just seemed a little bit off with the scoring, I thought, tonight, last night. Yes, especially with, like, I thought Ellie's dance deserved more. Um, yeah, there were quite a few. I don't know. I, I, you know I, think, I think the main one of the main issues for me, you know, I, I have a ton of respect for everyone who works with Strictly. I, I love, yeah. the, I love the, the judges, the dancers, obviously, and... Um, Obviously, the band, the Vicky Gill, every, and all of the costume people, everyone who, you know, puts the show together, I have a ton of respect for them, and especially the live singers, because I know that they get, they get, they deal with a lot of, you know, not great, um, you know, comments every week. Yeah. And I have a lot, a lot, a lot of respect for the singers. You know, I, I, normally I don't mind their covers, and I think that they are super, you know, hard workers, and they, um... I'm just gonna okay. I'm I'm showing sure this too much. Okay, this week I thought some of the song choices and some of the singing was absolute crap. Oh, okay. I I I mean that with all due respect. I do. I just didn't think this was their best week. Okay, I yeah. Feel like, like a lot. For of, example, Bobby's song choice. Not just Bobby's song the choice. Song. Krishnan's song well, choice. No, it wasn't his song choice, but I just mean the song choice for his dance was yeah. not very good. Yeah, Bobby, Krishnan, Amanda. Um. There was quite a lot, quite Annabelle. Um, like there's the, the, some other one I was, I'm forgetting. Um, oh no, I love Annabelle's song choice. Really good song choice. I'll I'll, I'll come back to that later, but because I have. Okay, so um, we did lose your fav, one of your favourites tonight. Yes, and I did vote for him. I did. Hmm. But I mean, we kind of I called used it. All my, I used my three votes for him. And I was very upset to see him go, but you know. Yeah, we call we did call it though last week. Yeah, like when we found out it was the Sandra, and then Salsa. his dance in the um, dance off, it didn't go quite planned, did it? That I'm I'm sorry. That was that was just not a good dance dance off dance. I don't. No. I just don't know. It, if it... all went a little bit wrong, sadly. Yeah, you know, I I also feel very bad for you know my little um. My my Polish pocket rocket princess best friend Yavita. Yeah, and I, to be honest, I felt so bad for him as well. Like he looked so annoyed with himself. I know, but like it's especially Yavita because you, you compare you know, to this to last 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 Yavita's last last year Yavita's and um, week four salsa. Yeah, I know, I know. It is sad, but you know. wait, was it a sad? then or was it a samba i can't remember Salsa, but the song was called samba de janeiro oh so he he was dancing the salsa to a song called, with samba in the title oh that's it weird <laughs> yeah i mean i, I, I mean i know you're poor yavita she's like never been in the dance off before mm. i felt i felt really bad for her because i love her so much she's like amazing and yeah, but I mean, yeah, Jody. I feel it felt like it was his time to go. Sadly, like, he, he, yeah, it just wasn't his best week. So. Yeah, I think it was his time to go, but I still voted for him because I liked him. Yeah, yeah, I feel I did. I I did feel very really bad for him in the dance off, but that I just like could throw out the whole dance. I was like, can you like stop? Make it stop, please. Make it stop. It just it just all went a little bit wrong for him, sadly, but Yeah. You know. Um so the other person in the dance off, I wasn't surprised, but um Eddie. Yeah, I thought it might have been him as well, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of guessed it would be those two because of Neil's poll. Oh really? Why? What what happened in his poll? He he did a poll saying like he does these polls every week. I really enjoy them. Um but he, yeah. he did this thing saying, um, what was your favourite um, dance from last night? And literally the least amount of people said Eddie and Jody. So I thought, oh, they're people that people didn't vote for them then. So I guess they're the bottom two. Yeah. Oh. 
That's annoying. I know, it's sad, but I mean, I, I do, um, Eddie. Okay, what I wrote about Eddie, I said that, um, oh yeah, for, well, for Jodie's, um, oh, also the fact that it was Jodie's birthday. <laughs> Oh, yes, he went out on his birthday as well. That's devastating. the worst day to go out. It was devastating. All I wrote down was that Jody. This was like before the dance, like last night as well, like not even in the dance off. He barely moved. Yavita did all the dancing, and it's his birthday. What was the last bit? And it's his birthday. I feel so bad for him. Oh, oh no, so upsetting. I really did. I liked him, I thought he was really good. Yeah, um, um, like he was in hospital last week. Um, he had an infection in his leg. Like, yeah, I did feel for him. Yeah, um, Eddie, I wrote down Karen's dress was a beautiful colour. Yeah, good observation. Um, they. Hang on. Oh yeah, they. Hang on. Was I talking about Eddie? Oh yeah, they did the same lift twice. Apparently. Who did they? Eddie, like, yeah, he I think he did like one lift where he like it was like a cartwheel over over him. But then and then they did that uh, lift twice. I noticed it because it was um oh. and also I wrote down Eddie didn't look too comfortable compared to last week during the dance. Yeah, I mean I didn't think it was too bad, but it was I think it was more the technique, wasn't it? I mean but I wrote down I felt bad for him, but I can't say I disagree with the judges. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a dance disaster, but I mean, yeah, it wasn't I the best. I don't know. I feel like Shirley has been being a little bit mean recently. I mean, compared to, you know, she gave him a 10 for some reason last week. Yeah. But, I mean, also, that song, I mean, uh, this that was the, another thing, that was the, the song I forgot to mention. What the hell was that song? That was not an American Smooth song. It's not an American Smooth I was listening to it on the bus and I was like, how is this going to work as an American Smooth? On It Takes Two, they said, we're going to make it an American Smooth. And then they did the dance. I was like, it's still not an American Smooth. I I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it worked, but that could just be me. It's like this very weird, slowed down jazz version of, of, of the song. I don't know if I'm allowed yeah. to say the title of the song on here in case I get um, age restricted or, some, or something. So... <laughs> age restricted yeah yeah youtube's very you know not like doesn't like it with content with smaller creators like myself that use um not for children words um who else? <laughs> i'm literally forgetting um because there was one point like i basically stopped writing notes because i was having dinner um but oh really <laughs> I, I did write like during the results result show why is beverly knight back she was literally there two weeks what? ago was she what for? The, 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 the Tina show, Turner thing and with Fleur. She, I'm pretty sure she was there. Pardon? Say again? Like, Sorry? Two weeks ago on the results show when, when Fleur was there and, and Beverly Knight was there and someone else was there for the Tina Turner pro dance. Oh, and now I it's been two weeks that. And now Beverly Knight's back. That, that week. Yeah. Um, okay, so the, the, okay, we also have um, the night started off with Ellie. She... What I wrote down was that she looked like a flamingo. Oh my gosh. I mean, yes. I, wasn't that the whole design of it, though? I mean, I, I'm I, sure there was, like, pictures of flamingos in the background. Yeah, this, I, this was before the um, before the dance. I was, and then they came up and I was like, okay, she looks like a flamingo. What's going on with that? And I guess it was the uh, flamingo. Like, okay, yeah. I but mean, what did you think of her dance? Because I thought it was severely underscored. At the time I wrote down it was her weakest dance yet, but now I've, I've had some time to sit with it. I actually think it was actually really good. Yeah. I totally agree. I think it's just the whole issue of her being first. Yeah. Exactly, it's always a bit difficult being first. Yeah, she. I really, I, I really do. She's such a joy to watch, Ellie. I, I mean, I really think she's gonna go go far. Yeah, I think so too. And she's fairly well known as well. The fact that she's in is she in Coronation Street? Yes, I think so. So yeah, so that means she's gonna be pretty well known. So I reckon she'll get far. Yeah, and then we had Adam, and I just wrote down why did they still have the CGI? It's not movie week anymore. <laughs> what was the CGI? It was like some weird like bridge or something they were they were dancing under. Oh um, really? I don't remember that. Mm. It was right. Um, it was but... right at the start. 
Aside from that, his dancing was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, I know it's like, I was watching one girl reviewing it on TikTok, but they basically said the comments were mostly like, oh my god, Luby, you look so beautiful, you're so amazing. Adam, you were good too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, but I'm so I proud think of him. did a really good job. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel, it's really good for Luba as well, because she's never made it this far. Yeah, exactly. Wait, well, how's the, what's the furthest she's made it? Week three. Oh, wow. So she's gone past that. Was it week, it was week four this week, was it? Yeah, this was week four. Week four, wow. So she's gone past that. That's good. Yeah, she's actually got a good partner this year. Who have her partners been? She had James Cracknell, and he went out first. Yeah. The following year, he had that... Jason Bell, and they went out second. Oh, okay. So she's, yeah. Hopefully, she's going to get further this year. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that um, Adam's brother is doing Dancing on Ice? Yes, I did. Yeah, I like that the first comment that comes up is, is isn't he currently on Strictly? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. God, all, I, I don't know. They these, I don't know. Um, then we had uh, Amanda. I didn't wasn't a big fan of her dance. I'm. I, I don't. I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was a little bit boring to me personally. But also the yeah. the absolutely the singers absolutely butchered that song, and the song doesn't <laughs> really work for a foxtrot. Oh, again, I didn't actually mind it too much. I didn't think the dance was too bad. No, it wasn't bad. But I just again, thought it was a little bit boring. The technique and everything. Pardon? I don't know. I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was a little bit boring compared to some of her other dances. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, like they said about the whole... Anton said about her not breathing. Which, I mean, to be honest, I don't know if I was actually paying attention to her dance that much, so I can't really remember what I was, I was trying thinking to at minimize, the time. <laughs> I was trying to minimise the amount of attention I was paying because I don't, I don't care for her. I, I, I made, okay, I made that very good. clear on here. I don't care for her. Um, oh okay. Um, then we had um, Krishnan. Um, very nice, yeah. nice of them to have have. You know, I know, and I was, I was looking at your TikTok the other day, and all the comments were saying how, what is with the Krishnan hate? You place him so low on your um, table of rankings. <laughs> Okay, the dance. I mean, again, very weird song choice. Yeah, what was um, the song choice? It was it was the from the California funk band, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, he's. I just wrote down he's definitely not going to the good place now. And those who know what I mean know what I mean. Oh my gosh! I thought it was amazing. What is with this hate towards him? The, like, he's not going to the good place, especially not after that. And he, he wouldn't be anyway, but he's definitely not now. And it's a little inside joke that I, you don't understand. And I don't know if anyone who's watching understands that. Um, no, I don't understand. I don't understand what you... Why you don't think he's good? I think he's amazing. <laughs> he should not have gotten an eight. And Pardon? He should not have gotten an eight. Mm, are you sure about that? Yes, I'm very sure about that. My mum agrees. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to do my rankings as well. Maybe we should do a TikTok on the, both of our rankings, compare them, see the comments. <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I just... Okay, yeah. But I have a little inside <laughs> joke that I'm, I'm making that you don't understand, and I know a lot of people probably won't understand, but if you do understand, please let me know in the comments if you understand my joke about how he's not going to the good place because he danced to a song from the California funk band The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, yeah, he, he wouldn't be going anyway. Um, okay, then we had Zara. Yeah, who, to be honest, I did think she might be on the dance floor, but she wasn't. Yeah, and very nice, nice, nice that she wasn't in the dance floor. Yeah, that was that was good for her. Yeah, definitely. I mean, but I didn't. I still, I didn't think it was the best dance ever. It was a. I, I found mean, it a little bit boring. It's the best she's done. Pardon? It's the best she's done. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether I would have said her week, her dance last week was better than this week. Oh no! If, this week was miles better than last week. Last week had all the walking and. Do you think? Yeah, it had last week was just loads of walking. Okay. Um. Yeah. I also wrote down what was was what was why was the um 
the Drag Race Season 1 Vaseline filter being used for Zara. Oh, Again, see, I, would, I wouldn't get that reference. Exactly. But people, people who know what I mean know what I mean. <laughs> Some people might get the reference. <laughs> yeah, um, then we had Annabelle. Oh, yeah, Annabelle. She was one of my favourites of the night. Honestly, I, I couldn't really tell you what not about her dance because I just could not focus with the absolutely awful cover of the song being sung by the singers. No, no I didn't think it was bad at all. It was like, what was it? It was very, really, like, it was all rasky and all, like, high-pitched. And, like, again, I have a lot of respect for the singers, but this week was just not it. Oh, but did you like that? Do you like that song in general, though? I mean, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't dislike it, but like it sounded even worse. It sounds better. Like I'd rather have just had like you know the actual song rather than than the cover because it sounded like it sounded. I don't know. It just sounded like this person was mumbling the words. The singer. Right. Again, no. I, right. I mean, I other again singers. I respect you a lot. Just not this week. I know you'll come back um, stronger next week. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see. You may prefer them next week. I did write, the cartwheel was impressive. The cartwheel was impressive. Um, and, I mean, I just thought she was really good. Yeah. Um, did you like the dance? What would you give her out of ten? I don't know, probably a seven. <gasps> oh, no, it's got to be like an eight. No. What? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, then I also wrote down... Did you know... So, after, after Annabelle, they did a... Um, the Claudia did the whole thing, like, let's look at the leaderboard. And then Adam was top at this point. <laughs> he, just, he looked so proud of himself. Yes! <laughs> he was... He looked proud of himself throughout the whole thing, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah. Um, yeah. Then we had... Yeah, Eddie. I've already... We already said we're talking about Eddie. Um, Leighton Slayton once again... <laughs> it was good, it was good. Um the only thing that I'm thinking is I feel like he just I think he'll get far. And I think I've said this before, I think he'll get far because he's good. But in terms of the public vote, I think he might be in a few dance offs because he is so good, people like it when you see an improvement. But like he's been so good from the start. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that jump split was like a cultural reset. I don't know if that was that's something. <laughs> that jump split. That's just yeah, everything perfection. I can't. I'll, I'll be honest. I can't even remember that. To be honest, it was everything. He was Pardon? the the jump split was everything. Maybe I need to rewatch it. <laughs> okay, then we had um, Nigel. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was. Oh no, they said it was really good, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I still, I still don't think it was as good as his Paso Doble, but I mean, I still thought it was very good. It's definitely better than last week. Yeah, I think it was better, but I was going to say, I still feel like his best dance was like week one. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's, I mean, it's, yeah, that's just just because it's, um, yeah, this is the point I stopped writing the notes, so I have to look on the Instagram to remember what the other dances were. So then we had, um. Angela and Carlos. Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> they said it wasn't good. I thought it was good. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice know, mistakes. What do I, know? I didn't notice the mistakes, so I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was good. I think I was a bit worried that she might be in the dance off, but honestly, like, she I couldn't. I couldn't good. tell you. I, 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 thought, I thought that the bottom two would be Eddie and Eddie and Jody, but I could not tell you. It was so close that the, the leaderboard was so tight. Yeah, it really was. And then we had um, Angela and Kai. Yes, their rumba. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good as well. But the only thing that I'm worried about is I've seen a lot of comments saying that they're overscored and that they're being overscored. I mean, I would say a li maybe it was a little bit overscored just because I, yeah. I, I, I do think it could have been a bit smoother. Pardon? I do think that Angela could have been a bit smoother. Yeah, like she could have had more hip action. Yeah, I mean the splits were but... impressive. The um two the two splits that she did. Yeah, they were impressive. Yeah, I'm interested to see her Argentine tango next week. So 
Yeah, I reckon that would be good because her legs are quite like flexible. Yeah, she's very flexible. Exactly, that's the word. So yeah. And then, um, okay, Bobby. Yeah, um, I thought it was really good, but I'm interested to see what you think because they kept saying about how much of a hard week they had, and I'm confused. Uh, okay, um, okay, I'll, I'll have a whole lot of thoughts about that. Okay, so the dance, okay, I thought the dance was very good. I do, I do think it was their weakest dance yet, though. Okay, fair um, enough. I mean, people have been saying about their height difference. We're bringing up the height difference again. And I'll explain why yeah. it's not that bad of an issue. I mean, yes, it's a small issue. They have a height difference and that's going to be hard. But I was talking to one of my friends from college about this. Do you know who else had a big height difference? Who? Dev? No, Ellie Simmons and Nikita last year. Yeah, that that, that is true. They made it work, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. That is true, and it worked. So Ellie and Visa, you know. they have a big height difference. They have kind of a big height difference as well. They're making it work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like before but, anyone says, I mean, it is quite a big height difference, but yeah. Before anyone says, like, it's 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 harder, for, it's easier for the males to choreograph for the smaller celebs. Like, they're professional dancers. They're professional dancers for a reason. I'm sure, like Diane's able to to choreograph. She's able to adjust her choreography to whoever she you know she can. And because, yeah. like, I, I just think there are things that they could do because I think, I just feel like it was, because they've already done a ballroom dance, they did the Foxtrot week one, and that went really well, yeah. even with the height difference. Yeah. But I think that this week, their height difference was, like, bigger because I think the, the fact that, I think that she could maybe, if she raised her frame a bit more so he doesn't have to bend down as much, I think. Yeah. Or or if they could put her in some taller heels. Yeah. That's why I think they yeah, can do. Right, yeah. And I don't want people be, be people being saying he should have been with Nadia because Nadia's taller. Yeah, well, like they're saying like the people that are trying to boycott the show because Nadia's not got a partner. Yeah, well, that's just part of the show. Not everyone's gonna get a partner. That's just the harsh reality yeah. of it. And yes, Nadia would have been better for Bobby height wise, but I don't know if Nadia would have quite vibed with his personality in the same way that Diane does. So, oh, do you not think? I don't know. I just, I mean, I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure. Like, I don't know if I'm right on this, but like point is i just don't i don't i think diane and bobby are a good partnership because they just you know they get on so well and i think that i don't know i just don't i don't know if they if nadia and bobby would have quite had that same connection because it's not just about height difference and i'm pretty sure if their height difference was really that big of an issue they wouldn't have paired them together yeah you're right about that yeah, like, definitely. They, they, it's 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 week four, okay. This is only the second ballroom dance. We've got plenty more to go, and like, like they'll make it work, okay. Nobody, nobody has nobody's ever done a routine on Strictly that's like nobody has ever done a perfect routine on Strictly. In, I mean, I don't know. It's it's way too early. I don't. It's they. I don't think the height difference is that big of an issue, and they'll make it work. It's way. It's still really early on. They'll make it work. Just you watch, okay? Because they are a good partnership, and they are going to go all the way. And now let's talk Ooh, yeah. about. Now let's talk about the whole thing with them being upset. I noticed it. Yeah, I noticed it too. But what do you think it was? I actually don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm still. I'm still very heated from what the whole thing. I just. I just said. Um, you need a break. <laughs> okay, I noticed it. It wasn't. It was as soon as the dance finished. It was. It wasn't after the dance. Yeah. It was. I noticed Bobby like as, his smile just you know was not normally like he, they start smiling after the dance. I know that he couldn't smile for the tango, but like normally like you know yeah. when they're happy they start like smiling and they're being all happy and they're all you know because you know these these two they're always very bubbly and happy and it's, it, you just like seeing them, but this yeah. week like Bobby just didn't look himself and Diane looked like she was gonna cry. And yeah, I know. I noticed that as well. Diane's not normally one that gets emotional. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, so, what do you think? It, what do you think it was? I don't. Know, my dad thinks it's because he was upset that the judges were mean to him. <laughs> um, oh, really? <laughs> I said no. It wasn't that because it was literally like as soon as the dance finished, it it, it was like that. I I knew something. Yeah. Like, because I noticed that, you know, I'm I'm very on, you know, like checking up on the social media to see how they're getting on. And they hardly posted anything this week. Oh. Like, but I don't think it... I mean, a lot of people have been speculating if it's to do with him 
uh, to do with Joe and Diane, but it's, I don't think it is. It's not. Did you did you see his his Instagram story today? Yeah, I just saw his Instagram about um, the roast potato. Roast potato. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. I'm. Um, yeah, I, I just need to read out again. It was it was so so brilliant. <laughs> the quote it was quote it from was. Diane. So These I are the best. Okay. <laughs> These are be the best roast potatoes I've ever eaten in my life, Joe. You are the best roaster of the potato the world's ever seen. I love you so much more than I ever even did before. I don't think they've broken up. Okay, they are fine. Yeah, I don't think they've broken up. <laughs> it's just Joe and Diane. Okay. Joe and Diane being Joe and Diane. Everything's fine with them. You don't need to worry. And I'm not. I don't want anyone coming for me saying I don't. I don't know what's going on in their personal lives. Um, yeah. I just really hope they're okay. Okay, that's that's all. I'm hoping yeah. whatever's going on. I hope that everything I... ends up okay. And um, you, I know you're going to come back stronger next week, Bobby and Diane. Okay, because you are the yeah. winners of Strictly Come Dancing. You're supposed to be happy. Yes, hundred um, percent. Also, again, we we were talking about this, but the song wasn't the best, Steva. Yeah, no, the song. Yeah, the song wasn't that good, was it? Again, I love I love David Bowie and I love his songs, but I don't think fashion really worked as a talent as I worked as like a tango. And also, I mean, no, I think mean, I mean, even said that themselves, didn't they? Yeah, like I just don't know what's been going on, going on with with um with 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 them because I knew something. I mean. The, the social media thing I just assumed it was because they were focusing on the dance but like if it's actually like you could tell something's clearly going clearly up with them like and that he's been yeah he's been I, her I rock, don't so. know I just don't hopefully that they're okay and that Joe and Diana are okay. quick update okay quick update okay I haven't really got that many more um signs I've only got one more sign but number 31 okay. is that the song um so, some some one of these Bobby and Diane fan pages I follow posted saying that um Diane danced to fashion by David Bowie in a Fashion Week themed pro dance back in 2017. Oh, so and that was her first year on Strictly. Oh, wow! So you know, first year on Strictly, they danced to dance to fashion. Seventh year on Strictly, they danced to fashion, and they again they go on to win. Um, wow! So yeah, again, I don't I don't want to speculate anything about what's going on in Bobby and Diane's personal lives because. I don't know them personally, and um, I just hope I don't want you to, you know, get offended by us. We don't. We're not saying that one one or the other thing happened. We're just, um, yeah, we're we're just literally um, thinking, just trying to. Um, we just. We, it's only because we care. Okay, it's only because we care. We want to make sure that everything, everything's okay because we're all human and we all deserve to be. We all just. I don't know what I'm talk, What I'm saying right now. My brain's like scrambling, but. <laughs> Um, no, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, I don't, I know. I, I don't know why I'm talking as if they're actually watching this. But basically, Bobby and Diane, we love you, and we know. We hope that you're okay. If you've had a rough week, that's totally fine. We all have rough. We all have rough weeks, and I know yeah. that you're going to come back stronger next week because you are amazing. And let me tell you, I did actually have on. Okay, I did have a minor panic attack on Friday. When I was watching It Takes Two, okay. because Why? <laughs> on It Takes Two, I, 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 I it was on first, it was Thursday's It Takes Two, but I watched it on Friday. On they were doing okay, the yeah. Vicky Gill segment, and they revealed Diane's dress on 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 putting on the glitz. What was your heart attack? What 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 were you worried about? <laughs> well, then Vicky revealed that they were both going to be wearing all red. Oh, what's wrong with that? <laughs> because Dev was also wearing all red on week four. Oh, and he got kicked out, so I'm thinking, oh my god, okay. what on earth are they are they doing this again? And I mean, I had a little minor panic attack. I was like, oh no, what are they doing now? Are they gonna do do a dev thing again? Like, no, we need to keep that curse broken. So the curse is still broken. That's a good thing. We're making sure the curse stays broken. It will not happen next year. It will not happen the year after. It will never happen again. Okay, that's the thing. Yeah, the curse never, is done for. The curse is dead. We're never having letting that happen again. Totally, um, totally. <laughs> yes, listen, listen, Diane stands in the light, okay? We're not letting the curse happen again. Yeah, we're not letting the curse happen again. And when, when is the curse? Week four. What week is week the four, curse? which is week this week, four. which they've survived. So that means it's, it's still broken. Okay. And we'll hope it stays well, that way. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Next year, year after, never happen again. 
yeah, I think I think she'll be okay. Yes. I think they'll be okay. I reckon they'll get far. I, I think that I, I really... well, we'll have to wait and see for next week, won't we? I for our next. They need to come. They need to have a you know proper comeback week. Yes, fingers crossed. Yes. Fingers crossed. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Who do you think is going out next week then? Who do I think is going out next week? Um. Uh, I just have to think about this. I'm thinking maybe Zara. I mean, if we're going off or of... Eddie. Unless, or Eddie. unless Eddie really pulls it out of the bag next week, I really I think he might be in danger. Oh no! Is, That's unless, upsetting. I mean, unless unless he pulls out like a you know flirty start and playing tango, then I don't think I think he might be in trouble. Is that wait? Is that what he's doing in Argentine tango? No, I'm saying unless he like pulls out a, 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 like an m- amazing dance like Fleur's Argentine tango, then I think he's like after being in the dance off, I think he might be in trouble again. Oh right, yeah, potentially. Yeah. Um, also, I just, just, so, I know are you, you thinking didn't. Eddie as well then? Yeah, Eddie or Zara, and honestly, I mean, it's, again, it's not who I'd want, but it's just what I think. Um, also, yeah. I know you probably didn't want to watch it. I don't know you probably didn't watch it, but I just want to say that that pro dance at the start of the results show was absolutely beautiful. I did watch it actually. It was beautiful. Very young. I actually watched it. <laughs> God, it was so beautiful. Like. Yeah. It was just like, it's so pure, like. Nikita and Vito, like Navito. <laughs> Navito. Lovely. Yeah, it was really, it was really sweet. Yeah. I, I love, I love that it dance. Was good. And like, that Navito. also looks like so much fun. I'd love to go sliding off that roof, <laughs> like that, that little <laughs> slanted. That'd be like a slide. <laughs> that looks so fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. And um, yeah, I, I can't wait for next week, which is week five, and we're not. Luckily, it's not going to be theme tune week again. So. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It, what are they not doing the scene shooting week? Um. I. I. I thank. I hopefully not. Oh wow. <laughs> you. You know what my thoughts oh, yeah. were on theme tune week. Yeah. You were not happy about that last year. No. And I. Yeah. I. I honestly was thinking about the Julie Andrews week last week about how I think there should be a Julie Andrews week because I think it would work so well but then I thought I also thought the theme tune week would work very well so I don't know what what do I know (laughs) what do you know (laughs) okay so um I think that wraps it up for this week then yeah I think so um so yeah um see you next week for week five and um next week for week five yeah and go Bobby, we love you, and um, you know, sending you um, I don't know what what happened, what, what happened in your and you and Diane's lives, but we we love you, and we um, we hope that you will come back better next week. Okay. Um, yes, fingers crossed. We'll still be voting for you though, so yes. don't worry about that. Although I did vote for Jodie this week, but you know, go get that glitter ball, Bobby. Okay, we love you. Okay, and um, so yeah, that's it for strictly speaking. Um, bye. Bye.